Pacers and racers take over Indy lives to see another week. It was quite the eventful weekend for Indy sports fans. As you know, it, the Pacers secured their spot in the Eastern Conference Finals, and that was happening. The Indy 500 got its poll winner after a wild weekend of qualifying at the Speedway. Fox 59's Kit Hanley has more on what this week holds. Kit, I hope you're buckled up. <laughs> I sure am. Good morning, Angela and Daniel. What if I told you I slept here? I really didn't, but I probably just should have because we are back here once again in Gamebridge Fieldhouse. I mean, it's going to be working overtime this week as the Pacers prepare to host the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, we know that games one and two are going to be in Boston, but we are guaranteed games three and four here at home, baby. And on Sunday, the Pacers dominated the New York Knicks in game seven at Madison Square Garden, which by the way is deemed one of the hardest arenas in the world to play in and still the team had three players in the 20 point range and won by 21 points now the blue and gold have stamped their ticket to the eastern conference finals for the first time in 10 years and the series makes its way to the circle city on saturday head coach rick carlisle says he could not be prouder of this young team uh, the competitive level in this series was through the roof um we played a great game tonight, um, but whatever we threw at them, they just they they kept coming. They kept kept coming. The crowd was unbelievable, and you know I just told our team when you win a game seven in Madison Square Garden, you've made history. And as the Pacers were establishing their win yesterday, qualifications for the Indy 500 were underway at the track. Scott McLaughlin and his famed yellow submarine won the pole, solidifying a Team Penske sweep in the front row. The car's been good. As I, I felt the potential was there. Um, even yesterday, it's just about getting the right balance. And I knew Benny would, he, my engineer, I knew he'd nail it, and he did. And, and uh, when the first number come up, I knew we just, I just had to hold on. And, Got a little bit loose at the end, but Penzl Chevy held on and super proud to put the yellow submarine back on pole and, and to sweep the front row for Team Penske. Now that is an awesome accent. Now take a look at your screen there. Here's what you can expect this weekend. Games 1 and 2 in Boston on Tuesday and Thursday and Game 3 on Saturday at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. And we all know what follows the 108th running of the greatest spectacle in racing. It is just shaping up to be a fantastic week here. And Angela and Daniel, I think we need to all buckle up together. So let me move my phone here. You ready? Let's take the seatbelt okay. and let's get oh. it. Let's roll. <laughs> Kit, here we go. I'm doing it. I'm taking it across the chest first and then doing the lap belt and squeezing it tight. Thank you. <laughs> hey, of course, we can't.